Hey, what's up guys, how you all doing? So, in my comment section recently, we get a lot of questions about the TV. Um, one question that seems to pop up all the time is, have I noticed any burning with this TV? Um, so, instead of keep answering all those questions over and over again, what I thought I'd do is uh, do a burning test for you guys. Um, do it now that, so you can see the results for yourself. And what I aim to do is repeat that test every month um, so you can see how the screen progresses over time. Um, does it get any worse? And if it is burning in, you know, how bad is it sort of thing? How many hours has it taken? Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do it once every month so you guys can just sort of drop in as and when you feel, to, you know, sort of for a, a progress update on it sort of thing. Um, what I'll do as well is a test on vertical banding, so I'll do a grayscale test as well, so I'll just chuck that one in there. What I'll do is now show you the settings on the TV so you can see what brightness I have it to, and just give you a bit of a rundown on the usage of our TV. So, getting up the settings there, I've currently got the OLED light set to 88 and contrast at 95 and brightness at 50. We have had this TV now, oh, I've got it written down here, for 66 days in total and over that time we have roughly used the TV from anything from 12 to 18 hours a day. It was pretty heavy usage. Um, so we're looking over over that time, approximately 900 hours. Um, so yeah, that is pretty, you know, sort of full on. Um, my daughter watches a lot of TV at home um, in the daytime. Um, so mainly sort of children's channels are being played. Um, static images. We, um, up in the top left hand corner, generally there is some sort of um, logo, be it like CBEVs or whatever, that's normally yellow, I think, um, but that does rotate round occasionally. Um, and there's another kids program that um, the kids watch, and there's Pop something or other, and that's a red logo down in that corner, down there. <coughs> Film-wise, um, I probably watch a film once every day, two days. So again, uh, black bars, top and bottom, and other just general programs. No news stuff with you know no ticker tape or anything like that, or you know sort of Sky News with a low a red logo for Sky stuck there for hours and then none of that. Um, gaming. Uh, my son pr probably plays two three times a week. Anything from four to six hours, again, mixture of games, some with static sort of displays on there, some without. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our sort of general usage. So uh, let's uh, crack on and uh, get this test underway. Right, Theo, so the test we will be using is this one right here. What I will do, I will run the test all the way through on one of its cycles, and then I will go through it a second time, stopping it on um, the main colours and pausing it just for a little bit so you guys uh, can have a look and have a sort of closer inspection on it. So I'll do that on the red, the green, the blue, and so on like that. Um, what you will have to take into account is uh, my phone probably isn't going to interpret the colours exactly how I, I see them. So when I stop on red, it may look slightly different um, on your display at home. So just want to point that out. All right, so let's start the test. And as you can see, because I've added on some bright images there, it has given it a bit of image retention for, you know, it normally goes after a few seconds when you've had it on a real bright image like that. I think the camera's having a bit of trouble focusing here as the colours change. Not much I can do about that, sorry. Okay. 
So I'm going to stop it there on a white image. On the phone, it does look a bit more blue. So we start off in this corner up here. Again, the phone is sort of shifting colours slightly, but from what I can see, it's perfectly clear. So we're looking across. And all looks good to me. So I'll stop it there on the blue. Again, the blue on the camera does look slightly different. Again, looks completely clear to me. Move on to the next colour. And onto a green. And yeah, all clear again. Like I said, any inconsistencies that might come across um, is just more to do with the camera at this moment. You know, it's clearly no images uh, being burnt in on that one. So pull, ooh, oh, I've missed the red. I have to back it up. Right. And onto the red. This seems to be uh, the one colour that seems to show up screen burn from what I've seen. And again, looks perfectly clear to me. And you can see a little bit of band in there on that one. So what I will do now, because that's the uh, the colour test done, I will go on to the 5% grayscale and have a look at the banding. There you go, you can see some vertical band in there. But um, that does seem to have proved over time because it is worse when I first got it. I don't personally notice anything when I'm watching TV. Again, what you're seeing on the camera there is far worse than what I am seeing with my own eyes. I can barely even see it, to be honest. Um, the, the, the camera is lightening up the, uh, the image quite a bit. And I've not run the pixel refresher as far as I can remember on this TV. I think I've done it on the 55 inch one, but not on this. So what I do now, as so well, I will run the 15% grayscale. Which should be on here somewhere. 30. Fifteen. There we go. And a bit of focus in this view there. From what I can see, there we go. Oh no. Sorry about this, folks. There we go, that's better. And uh, what I'm seeing with my eyes, I can't even really see anything at all. Um, I think it's very faint on the camera there on the right hand side. But uh, overall, I'm quite uh, pleased with that. But, uh, not too bad at all. So that would uh, be. A positive result so far, or should I say negative is in for screen bird, but positive in this is, as in, um, you know, there's nothing bad to report really. Um, and like I said, I'll repeat this test again in a month's time. And there you go then guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, um, maybe think about subscribing if you'd like to see uh, more of the same in the future and those uh, repeated tests. Um, 
just want to say a big thanks once again to all my current subscribers. Um, you know, numbers are growing every single day. Uh, you guys are clearly liking what I'm doing. Um, if you uh, got any comments, feel free to drop them down below. You know, let me know what you think of this test and if you think you find it useful or not. Um, like I said, I'll repeat it again in one month's time or thereabouts approximately. And just remember this is after 900 hours and as far as I can see, it's a clean panel at the moment. Um, obviously, you could see just that one bit where I'd add the, the static menu like that for a little while. And we had a bit of image retention, not burning, just retention. I even get that on my LCD TV. And, you know, after a few seconds, it disappears. So nothing to worry about there. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for joining me. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.